Hey, this is Rich from Lower West Side Studio, and today we're going to have a quick look at Barton Musical Circuit's BMC-034 Switched Resistor VCF. This is a really cool module that, uh, that works a little different than, than other filters, uh, and uh, it yields some pretty cool results uh, in doing so. I'm not going to get into the technical aspect of it right now. I'm just going to show you sort of physically what it can do. You've got two uh, channels, each with low pass, band pass, and high pass, CV in, clock in. You've got two inputs. Okay, you've got a uh, control voltage uh, potentiometer for frequency, and you've got frequency control and independent resonance controls. The frequency works for both channels. So basically, uh, we've got right now, I'm going to show a couple things, but for uh, the first one, I'm going to uh, run a ramp signal from a Q106 synthesizers.com oscillator. That's what we've got coming here. Taking the low pass out, and I've got the resonance turned up about midway and the frequency off. So it's got a kind of really kind of edgy sort of sound to it. I'm gonna go and we'll go to band pass out now. Turn the res up about midway. And the high pass. Turn the res up. All right, and because we don't want to be uh, farting around with voltages all day long, we'll play a little bit here. We've got uh, control voltage coming from a second envelope generator. The first envelope generator is being triggered by the keyboard and is controlling uh, the uh, VCA, which is a, an Oakley Classic. And uh, that was uh, this the arpeggiator from a Q175 and a Q174 MIDI interface by .com. Uh, by the way, I'm using Frequency Central System X ADSR uh, envelope generators, one for the VCA and one for the VCF, two awesome envelope generators. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go quickly switch between. We'll take the uh, let's say that we take the high pass output of the first filter, run it into the input of the second, and then we can take the low pass output of the second filter, run that into our mixer. We're just going to a mixer here, an Oakley uh, Multimix. I'm going to shut this one down here so we can just hear the second channel. Sorry. There we go. Finish up with the uh, the vowel patch, which is uh, a patch that's demonstrated um, uh, by Michael Barton on his uh, on his uh, site, actually on his YouTube channel. Sorry about that. 
And what we're gonna do for that is I'm going to quickly switch my inputs from my keyboard to a sequencer. So now we are controlling two oscillators as per the gate patch or the vowel patch, excuse me. We've got two oscillators. The first was the uh, the 106 that we were using uh, in the first example, and now we've got a second Q106 tuned to uh, two feet, uh, which is also getting the one volt per octave and is hard synced to the pulse wave of the first Q106. That output is uh, going now into the clock in. We're gonna use that as our our clock input and uh, because this thing takes uh, audio signal as a clock and uh, we'll take the output of our oscillator we'll go into here and uh, now for our control voltage sorry the perils of patching from memory okay so what we've got is we've got the uh, the slaved VCO uh, running into the clock input. We've got uh, an ADSR, a System X ADSR envelope generator being triggered by the gate from my sequencer. And uh, we've got the low pass out and uh, we're gonna fire it up right now. <laughs> Finding that vowel sweet spot is a real trick. And it almost lasts for but a second, because as soon as you go past the 12 o'clock mark, I'm into like, I can kind of hear a harmonic in the background. But as I go forward, I'm gonna play around with the resonance a little bit. Like that. Oops, sorry. Also, I can change the frequency of the uh, the clock wave. And it changes the overall. All right, we can pull it right out. So that's about it. Um, some really cool features, some uh, nice sounds, a little different than other filters. Uh, I haven't even begun to show how you can start patching it up and, and getting some really cool sounds out of it uh, by crossing uh, this frequency with that. But uh, that's for, for experimentation and for more wiggling time. Hope you enjoyed that.